So we've seen we make a Twitter bot, but all it did was really just thank people. So I thought of making something more useful, a Discord bot. So to start off, I actually had to go on the Discord developer app and um, create my bot. So I created a name, just called it Testbot. And then as I found out later, Testbot is too common, so I had to change it anyway. I think I ended up calling it Joe Marma Bot or something like that. But nevertheless, I created the bot on the Discord website, and that's when I could get to coding. And I started the code off by actually connecting myself to Google Sheets. I used it a pre-pasted uh, scope code so I don't have to type in all the links. But yeah, I added, I imported things like the authorization link for Google uh, Drive. And I also added uh, Discord, which is, uh, I, I think, a, a dis made by Discord. It's a library. I don't, it, I just know it's a library for Python. I'm not sure who it's made by. And that's what I did. I made it connect to Google, uh, Google Drive. And then I went on to making a, a class called My Client, which connected to Discord and actually defined the bot. Right now, you see me writing if message ID self dot user, which basically makes that if the bot mentions itself, the bot will then reply to the bot. And that's all I did. And that's when I tested it on my Discord after inserting the secret code, which I will not show you guys. So now that we knew that my bot actually worked and connected to my Discord server, I now needed to actually get some this bot to do something. So what I wanted this bot to do is to uh, hop onto Google Drive, onto my sheets where all my applications for my new Minecraft server are, and I wanted to get the most recent one and show it to me. So that is what I got to do. I created a bunch of a uh, bunch of variables, one called row t and uh, one which is not found. And what this would do would be a loop that would ch keep checking for the most recent app. It would go through each application to see which one hasn't been checked yet. And once it's found one that hasn't been checked, it will return it to the player or the person or the admin in my Discord server. And it was a really, really, really simple loop just to make sure that's what it did. And then afterwards, I just added it. Uh, I added an output, so I actually outputted it in the Discord, which was await messages channel dot send and then the message for each one it got a bit ugly it didn't really look very professional but this is a simple bot and i'll probably correct it in the next episode if we choose to make one to run the script and went on to Discord. Once it connected, obviously, it did, it did take quite long to connect, but that's an issue for another day. And once I did write in the command for a recent, I got the recent application from the Google Sheets. But let's be honest, that bot didn't actually do anything. All it did was show us the recent application, but the recent application will always still be the recent application because we haven't added anything into the code to actually update the sheet to tell it, okay, we've done this application. This one's no longer rest necessary so for the next part i literally just did the same exact loop but this time when it found the most recent application it just told the sheet yep yeah, that's done and it added an extra bit on the end just to tell my code uh, above this yeah don't take this one take the next one <laughs>